Hey friends, my name is Yara Willard and I am a herbalist turned naturalist. And today I wanna to share with you a little message on ecosystem conservation and ecosystem restoration. That's right, we live in a planet where we need to preserve these lands. There are some special lands though in particular, specifically estuaries, natural bluffs, and in between zones from two different ecosystems that are at most risk. And today I wanna to share with you a little message about the Morrison Creek Waterways. And this is brought to you by the Morrison Creek Streamkeepers and the Comox Valley Land Trust who are trying to protect this little known land from being logged or being taken down and turned into housing. And they need your help. So join me in looking at the beauty of this land and why we want to protect these kind of places. The first thing I'm reminded of when I come into a forest like this is the calm, serene connectedness of the species. I mean, right here at my feet, these fungi hold the intelligence and the communication between all of the animals and the living world. All lands are important to protect, but it's specifically the ecosystems that are between different ecosystems that allow species to travel across or to breed in that are most important for making sure that the balance of the natural world is maintained. This includes places like salmon spawning grounds. And with that, there's a couple of unique species in this part of the world in particular, one known as the Morrison Creek lamprey. And this ecosystem is the only place where this natural type of lamprey has grown and evolved to live in fresh water and not in the ocean. There's a language in the natural world that is inherent to our own sense body of communication. This is a language that's spoken without words. It's spoken through the subtleties and the nuances of communication between species, of the way they show up, of the way they mingle and integrate with each other. And it's in these intact ecosystems that we find this conversation being the strongest, where we have biodiversity and this regenerative cycle of success, where every plant is not in competition with each other, they're actually in a collaborative reciprocity of supporting each other so that the whole ecosystem can grow and be maintained and create the type of balance and equilibrium that allows for great life to thrive. You know, wetlands like these are an important piece of an intact ecosystem. It's a shame that in the modern world we have paved over a lot of wetlands because we don't find them useful. And yet this is where the most biodiversity happens. This is where the most life starts to grow and create that ecosystem dynamic. So often when it comes to conserving land, people do it with the thought of it becoming a nature's playground, somewhere where we can go and do our outdoor fun activities. Now this is valuable, but one thing that's missing here, and this is the most important reason why we preserve these lands, is to create natural pockets where wildlife feel comfortable. And if we allow a forest to grow to full age, to full maturity, and fall down, it creates all these little nooks and crannies where different animals, bugs, birds, bacteria, fungi, can grow and create the most sustainable life for themselves. So as stewards of this land, it's not just about us finding a new nature playground for us to go mountain biking in, it's actually creating ecosystem restoration that allow for a lot more biodiversity. Here, salmon come up every year, lay their eggs, and they grow up able to feed many other organisms and also create a ecosystem of healthy, regenerative processing for the natural world. Wetlands like this also help to recycle and recalibrate the ingredients and the nutrition in the world around us. I mean, here I am on a log growing more life, continually life growing more life. It's amazing to me how much wealth is found in the abundance of a land like this. That's right, real wealth. This is the real wealth of our planet, is in this biodiversity of these intact ecosystems. If you feel called to help conserve this beautiful and special land, please check in with the Morrison Creek Streamkeepers on their website and or go to the Comox Valley Land Trust. These are the places where we can actually make our dollar count to support encouraging better healthy ecosystems and to protect the natural world before it's all gone.